Okay, so a quick tutorial on how to get this lovely character out of Maya and into Mixamo without the textures all turning black. And the reason the textures seem to be turning black is that we've got two different UV maps. The object has been combined into one, but we've still got a UV map for the dress and a UV map for the body. So if we export this, export all, uh, and we need to do an OBJ export, so we keep all of these on, that's all good. So I've already done this, so I'm going to, uh, I shall just save it in somewhere else. Uh, handy test 2, okay. So what happens is when it exports, it basically ends up giving you, uh, this is, I've done this previously, so that we've got an FBX in there. Um, so it'll give you a layers PSD, it'll give you a material, and it'll give you an OBJ, and it'll also give you a color PNG. So if we open the, so basically the only files that you will have when you export from Maya are these, and the only, oh, no, apologies. Uh, these. Uh, and the only reason it's given you this is because it's got two separate UV maps. It's confusing it. So if we go into, if we open the PSD Photoshop document in Photoshop, uh, so we can see that this is basically, um, I've, well, let's just open it. Okay, hang on. I'm going to do it. Crazy. So let's PSD, we can see that we've got four layers here so we just need to flatten this uh, um, which I have done here and then we will just save as then we save that as a PNG which is the format that um, makes the most seems to favour. Okay so we've now got two PNG files which are the two separate textures for the exciting character so I've already done that so I'll just close that down. So next up we want to make sure that we get uh, layers PNG, the two PNGs, the MTL and the OBJ, and we want to zip those up. Okay, so I've already done this, uh, so that's what we're looking for. We zip it up, make sure it says dot zip, and then we go over to mix mode, and next exciting step, and we go upload character, and so I'm going to drag my. Uh, I'm going to drag my .zip in here, uh, and I might have to cut the video at this point because it's going to take a while. So it's still going to come in black at this point, uh, but the, we're trying to make sure that we've got textures on it for Unity so that we can use the Mixamo Animation Library. So processing, processing processing. So it should take less than half a minute. Uh, doesn't. So it's coming black. Yet yeah, that's fine. So we haven't, symmetry is not quite working in this case. Um, don't know why. It could be something to do with the uh, geometry on the dress. Turn your symmetry off. So let's guess where the chin is. So this isn't ideal, but I'm just doing this quickly. Wrists. Yes. Wrists. Yes. Elbows, yes. Elbows, yes. Knees, yes. Knees, yes. I'm just going to sort of guess where the groinal area is. Okay, uh, and this can take up to two minutes, so this will be another interminable wait. Okay, so that took much longer than it should have, but we still got a black character and we've got a clearly defined chin in this case, so it has worked that out for me. Um, and we previously had a skeleton, so um, it's important that, I presume. Uh, yes, yes, please. So here we are, still black, so let's choose an animation. Um, we don't want any punching, so let's have... Uh, Samba Dancing Part 2. Looking good, looking good. Uh, so let's download this. So with skin, FBX, 30 frames, all good. Download it down here. Just going to cut it out a 
have the download folder. So pasting it back into my test folder, Samba 1, Samba Dancing 1. So next up we want to take, uh, we want to open Unity, which I have, uh, because I am clever. Uh, okay, so just drag that in. Samba Dancing 1. So we'll see that basically this is still a black character. So let's take that in there. It's also the size of a molecule, which um, I never quite understand why that happens. But so I'm just going to scale this up to 100. Uh, yeah, reset position using this. Right. So oh, actually, is she animated? Okay, so she's not animated. So what we want to do next is we want to take the original uh, two PNGs in. Could have selected both of those at once, so maybe I'm not quite as clever as I think I am. Uh, oh, and then what we want to do is uh, create a material. So let's call it Lucia uh, Body. Create material and Lucia dress. Okay, I should point out this hasn't been created by me. This has been created by a talented student. Um, okay, so Lucia body. Uh, just choose that, and then we go up to the body thingamajigs. Stick that in the albedo. Uh, it always comes in with smoothness and makes it look super weird. Then choose the dress, drag the thing into the albedo, take the, the um, smoothness down again. So now what we need to do is, in theory, just drag that onto there. So obviously the UV is being retained. And then we drag the UV on. Unsure if he hasn't mean to put any shoes on the character, if that's the correct texture. It's like they are texted. Anyway, stop rambling to myself. And um, so the other thing we need to do is that we uh, should have, if you look at the import settings on the character, we'll have an animation here, which is always defaults to mixmode.com. Drag that onto the character, and what it does is it creates a uh, animation controller, which means that it gives it an entry point, which means that it goes directly to this animation. Very exciting stuff. So now. We should have an animated character. Okay. Looks drunk, but there you go. Okay, happy days.